Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. Uh, today, got a little install-ish for you guys. Got a, finally got my access port. Um, I'm, also, I'm gonna be putting the stage one tune because as of right now, I don't really have any mods besides the axle back. I don't have an intake or anything, which I plan on getting eventually. Uh, and just get to opening everything up for you guys. There you go. This should be the access port. Got a couple of stickers right here. I don't know if it's focusing. Doesn't look like it is. Stickers. Warning. I don't care about that. Quick start guide. Got the computer wires. And then the main event. We got the actual access port. Honestly, can't wait to install this. I've been waiting. I've been so excited waiting for this to come in. I was literally looking out the window like a little kid waiting for the UPS guy to get here. So, there you go. Hey, for the OBD2, it's just pretty simple, straightforward. All right, we're going to get into it. All right, so I've never done this before, so I'm just looking through the instructions really quick. Uh, it just has instructions for all different cars in here. Uh, there you go. Subaru WRX installation. It has like all different places in here. Which is kind of confusing. But I know you just insert it. Let's go. I'm just, I, I can't wait. Hold up. I'm too excited. Too excited. Basically, the interface. Uh, it's center for over. Okay, it's pretty simple. Install access port. Let's press okay. Please wait. switch is on the on position minus push to start so one two um, and then it says confirm that to us domestic market wrx might be up okay okay cool stage zero um, I am going to go with I'm going to go with because I put 93 I'm gonna put the 93 with the regular wastegate so it should be pretty simple warning stuff Honestly, I don't even know if my battery will last. Okay. Finish saving. people talking out of here. Apartment life. Ok. 
Okay, so it is done. Uh, I already kind of set it up a little bit with the gauges. Let's see, there you go. Car's off right now. See, I'm getting a little bit of boost, but no, I don't want to log anything. This is how you change the maps. I had a hard time trying to figure it out, but you go change monitor and you figure, pick the ones that you want. You go back. I'm not gonna change it. Uh, yeah. So these basically just press down so it goes to whichever side you need. I put the six map, well, six gauges, not six maps. So. Layout, I have it all six just because why not? If you can, why not? Uh, all right, cool. I'll show you guys what it looks like once the car started. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna mount this yet. So. around and some people were telling me to put my coolant so I'm gonna try to change this one at least see let's see if I can find coolant So I'm going to just have it here temporarily until I figure out where I want to put it. But everything is good. Uh, go back. We'll walk through it. 0 to 60. Half a mile, quarter mile type stuff. Uh, maybe sometime in the future. I got to figure out how to do the two-step. I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet. Let's just take her out for a drive. All right, so the car is starting the data logging, so all the access port is. So I'm gonna drive it around, see if anything has changed. It's supposed to make the, it's supposed to keep the car from dying off at like 4,000 RPM like it usually does. So I'm about to see. I thought the pops would go away, but it's still there. Drive around the neighborhood really quick. Oh my god. That is way, way better. Oh my goodness. I can already tell the difference. Because <laughs> before, like, it wouldn't go so smooth. I was just straight in there. Straight power. Love it. I know you guys hear those backfires. Right? Just from my axle back. Mom on this road. Uh, you should see how the car actually drives. feels a lot better in terms of like driving this is no more rev hang it's driving smooth it's just linear power once you get up there which is just exactly what i wanted what i need for right now until i can get more parts once i can get all the mods that i need it's only up from here it's only up because i need 
need exhaust intake, and I, after that, I plan on doing all suspension stuff. Suspension stuff, and then just roll more power. But I want the car to be able to handle and be able to handle before getting any kind of extra power. I wanted to drive, handle up to par before. I've never even driven down here before. All right, guys, back home now. Um, it's all set up. Car's driving fine, driving good. Um, I figured out the gauges and everything. Everything looks good. Uh, I know it's like a shorter video, but I just, I haven't put anything out in a while, so I just figured I'd just do this, put it out for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends, share it with your family members. And help me out. Appreciate it, guys. I'll catch you guys. Later. You a pussy, nigga, so that make your girl a dyke. Bitch, she kinda strong, too. Think I'ma call her Mike. Mike, I get hella money, so I barely park my bike. My bicycle. I'm trying to bend these corners.